Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and in this video we will learn about voltage divider rule. We have a series connection of resistances. If we want to find out voltage drop across any one of the resistances using the voltage divider rule, we have marked some points across these resistances A, B, C and D. So what will be V, A, B? That means across these points A and B, V, A, B. Suppose here we have V, B, C and here we have V, C, D. These are the three voltage drops across these three resistances. So using voltage divider rule, we can find out the voltage drop across any one of the resistance. So what will be the voltage drop across the resistance R1? Let us find out V, R1. Suppose this is the voltage drop across resistance R1. Okay. So V, R1 will be equal to V, A, B. Okay, because I have marked here A and B points, so this is the VAB, that is the voltage drop across R1. So we can uh, multiply the total voltage, this is the capital V, this is the total voltage across all these three resistances. Or we can say that this is the source voltage. We have to multiply this with the resistance that we have to find out the voltage drop. Okay, this is the resistance we are considering, VR1 means voltage drop across the resistance r1 so we have to put the resistance value in the numerator that is here we'll have r1 okay and the rest of these resistances or the total resistances we have to find out and we have to put that in denominator that is r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is the voltage divider rule that means if we want to find out the voltage across any resistance then we have to multiply the total or source voltage with the target resistance and we have to divide the multiplication by the total resistance of the circuit or the equivalent resistance of the circuit so this is applicable for series connection this is a voltage divider circuit actually okay this uh, circuit can be used in the cases where we need multiple voltage values but we have only one source of voltage so using resistors we can change the voltage drop across these two points so we can take connections from here and then we can feed it to some another circuit okay suppose here we have another suppose one bulb is there and we can connect across it and this voltage across this point a and b we can find out adjusting the r1 value okay whatever be the required voltage we can adjust uh, using the values of r1 value now let us find out the voltage across r2 so what will be the value vr2 this will be equal to v b c because we have considered the points b and c across r2 so what will have v into now we have to put r2 because we have to find out the voltage across the r2 that means the voltage drop in the resistance r2 so we have to put the r2 value in the numerator and we have to add all the three resistances similar to the previous case r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is the voltage r across the resistance r2 or the voltage drop across the resistance r2 similarly vr3 so what will be the value vr3 is equal to vcd because we have considered c and d points across this r3 resistance here we have considered c and d so vcd is the voltage drop across this resistance r3 okay so what we can do vr3 is equal to total voltage is capital v into we have to put the target resistance for which we have to find out the voltage drop in the numerator here we'll have r3 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is the voltage divider rule so using this voltage divider rule we can find out the voltage drops across any one of the resistance in our later videos we will see uh, what is the voltage divider circuit and how we can use them so, so if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you